is needed. We are cutting out of that to return to the US Secretary Anthony Blinken, who's speaking now. stand against Hamas and what it has done and to make sure that it can't happen again. We're determined to stand with and for innocent civilians who suffer primarily as a consequence of what Hamas has done uh, on all sides. Uh, we come to work together as well to ensure that this uh, crisis, this conflict doesn't spread to other places. Uh, and we come to think together about a, a way forward uh, for everyone in the region that is positive, uh, affirmative, the contrary of the vision that Hamas has, which is simply terror, destruction, murder. Um, what we've seen uh, these last days, I think it's clear that there really are two paths for this region. And one is the path of greater integration, normalization, collaboration, uh, affirmation of the rights of Palestinians, uh, and working together, common purpose, common benefit. That's one path. The other path is the one that's offered by Hamas, uh, a path, as I said, that offers nothing but death destruction, terror, nihilism. I think the choice is very clear. The challenge is for us to work together to put everyone clearly, affirmatively, on that first path. We know that that's what the overwhelming majority of people in this region want. Uh, it's certainly what we believe uh, they need, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to consult with you uh, about the challenges we face in the immediate, but also uh, path forward. Thank you. That's the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, saying the challenge is for us to work together. That is the overwhelming uh, requirement the majority of the people in this region want. Uh, let's go back to Patty Culhane, who's listening into that, Washington, D.C. Uh, Patty, the sound wasn't great, but I think hopefully you got a, an idea of... Yeah. Uh, what the US Secretary of State was saying, and, and pretty much as expected. Yes, pretty much as expected. No, I couldn't really make out what he was saying, but he's been pretty much saying the same thing at every one of these stops, really trying to bring back to the forefront what happened in Israel, talking much less about what is happening currently in Gaza. Uh, again, interestingly, he was really just scheduled to come at the beginning. They told the reporters here in Washington he's going to Israel, then he's going to Jordan. Then they added on all these stops. Then he met with the Palestinian Authority, President Mahmoud Abbas. Then he went to Qatar, uh, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, now to Egypt, now back to Israel. So that would seem to me that there's some sort of shuttle diplomacy going on, uh, but not exactly clear what the goal is, what the aim is. The one thing that the U.S. has not talked about at all is if there are any limits for this operation into Gaza. Uh, but again, one of the interesting things is we are now starting to hear from National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan very publicly saying that Israel needs to respect the uh, Gaza's, uh, people in Gaza's ability to get clean water, food, electricity. That is the very first time they have put any of the onus on Israel. Uh, they've been saying just in the last couple of days humanitarian aid became, became an issue, uh, saying that uh, they want to get humanitarian aid in, and they seem to imply that that should come from Egypt. So could be seen an interesting pivot. Uh, again, couldn't really make out what's going on with uh, what Antony Blinken was saying. Very unusual for the White House press pool feed to be that bad. Uh, but hopefully they'll refeed it and we'll be able to actually uh, hear what he had to say. Yeah, I think you summed it up pretty well there from what we heard. Uh, Patty, thanks for that. Back with you a bit later. Thank you, Patty.